Welcome to Module 13, Lesson 4. Our I can statement reads, I can find the measure of an angle by using its fractional parts of a circle. So we're going to use that fractional measure understanding, and that's going to help us measure these angles. So instead of talking about an angle as a fraction, we're going to talk about it as a number of degrees. All right, so let's start out here with Spark Your Learning. Based on what you know about the measurement of the shaded piece of the circle, how can you describe the measurement of the circle? The first thing we need to remember is, what is this? Now, if you remember, this is a right angle. Okay, we can also see that this orange is going to be one-fourth of the circle, right? If I break it apart, I'll have four unit angles. So I know that if I have four unit angles and each unit angle is a right angle, then there's going to be four right angles in my circle. Hmm. What do you know about a right angle? A right angle is equal to 90 degrees. So we know the measure of a circle will be four right angles or 90 times four, which is 36 tens or 360 degrees. Hey, so let's go ahead and take a look now at this question. Here we're looking at angles that are already given to us with a certain number of degrees. Angles are named by the way they relate to 0, 90, or 180 degrees. What is the name for each of the angles? Over here, we have our vocabulary terms. We have acute angles, which are 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees, or greater than 0 degrees and less than 90. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. So if you remember from back here, we show our right angle like this. We know our circle is made of four right angles. Our circle has a total of 360 degrees. All right, then we have an obtuse angle, an angle that measures greater than 90, but less than 180. So that means it is between 91 degrees and 179 degrees. A straight angle is an angle that measures 180 degrees. So this is why an obtuse angle has to be less than 180, because a straight angle is exactly 180 degrees. A reflex angle is an angle that measures greater than 180 degrees. So now let's go ahead and label. If an angle is 65 degrees, what kind of angle is it? it is an acute angle. If it's exactly 90, and we'll know, because it'll mark it with a little square, it is a right angle. Here we have 175 degrees. So it's less than 180, but more than 90. So it is an obtuse angle. Down here, we have one that's exactly 180. So that means it is a straight angle. And this one, we can also tell it's a straight angle, right? Because it's a straight line. And finally, we have our angle that is 240 degrees. So it's greater than 180. It is a reflex angle. Let's take a look again at our circle. Now let's remember, a circle 
has a total of 360 degrees. Architects often use circles when designing buildings. How can you measure, how can you find the measure of an angle from the fractional part of the circle formed by the window? Okay, so we're looking at this circular window here. And this circular window has sections. How many total sections are in this window? Go ahead and count them now. Right, so we know that this window is made of 12 sections. All right, let's go ahead and do question A. To estimate, describe the angle. Well, let's look at this little angle here that we're working with. Using our vocabulary from the last problem, this angle does not look like it's greater than 90 degrees, right? This would be our 90. So it's less than 90. So it must be an acute angle. We need to determine the fraction of a circle that any one angle turns. So what is our unit fraction, our unit angle? It is 1 12th of the circle. Because we know our circle is broken into 12 sections for the window. Okay, so we know the fractional measure of the circle is 1 12th. We are going to create an equivalent fraction to find the measure of angle of the angle in degrees. We need to think about 12 times what will equal 360. First, we can think of what 12, time, 12 times what will equal 36 tens. 12 times 3 will equal 36. So it must be 12 times 3 tens or 30. Now remember, this has to be a fraction equal to 1, so our numerator must match our denominator. And we find that the degree measure of the circle is 30 out of 360. So what that's meaning, 30 out of 360, this whole circle is worth 360 degrees. So out of those 360 degrees, this purple section is 30 of those 360 degrees. So the measure of the angle from the fractional part of the circle formed by the window is equal to 30 degrees. Because out of the entire 360 in the circle, it takes up 30, meaning it's 30 degrees. So let's take a look at number one together. We know that the entire circle is worth 360 degrees. It's asking us to find the measure of the shaded angle. This shaded angle is one half of the 360 degrees. So we need to find what one half of 360 degrees is. Go ahead and solve and write your answer. Pause the video and you'll check your work. All right, you should have found that it was equal to 180 degrees. 180 is half of 360. And then this angle was a reflex angle because 200 is greater than 180 degrees. So it is a reflex angle.